Hi guys and welcome to the first episode of uh, Let's Fish 101. So this whole channel is going to be like teaching fishing from like using how to lures from what we'll be doing today which is tying knots. A little amateur I just got a thing this is the best I could show you for tying onto something. So yeah we're just going to make this whole channel basically teaching how to use certain lures, tying knots, maybe some fishing videos in here too. We'll see. We're just getting started. So let's uh, start to learn these knots. So the first one we're going to do is the improved clinch knot. And this is a really good starter. Uh, this is a really good starting uh, knot to do. Um, it was one of the it was one of the first knots that I ever learned and it's just it's a good knot for beginners and people for anyone. It's a really easy knot. So let's get started here. So first you'll take your end of the tag line and I am using bigger um string so you guys can see because uh, that's what I prefer when I see videos. So, um, let's get started. So, this will be the end of your tag line. Either just tie this up directly onto the lure, swivel, or hook. So, first, you'll just put your tag end right through. And you'll feed it a little bit out like this. Give yourself, I don't know, you don't need this much. You probably only need a few probably about that much so first you'll do is you'll take this and you'll wrap it around and I like to start under and I like to and what you do is you just um you take the tag end and you just wrap it around a few times like this and make sure you keep this end open with a little loop here so it doesn't completely close so I'll do that quick that's one two, three, four, we'll say four, but five is what you would usually want to do. So then once you have this wrap going on, you have that, how you do, how you have it right here. So you wrapped it and you have this loop and you'll take the tag end on this side and you'll put it through there. So behind there, and then you have this little you have this little other loop right here and so you'll take that and you'll put that through and then it'll look like this so you had that one loop and then you put it through the other one and then you just pull this pull this a little bit your tag end and then see here i'm not used to doing this with big rope like this but then Okay, it's a little tough, but um, usually that will cinch down and that will just slide right, right to your, right to your swivel or hook or whatever that you're going to be using. So that, that is very good. That's a very good starter knot. I just got to cut this off here and then We'll get on to the next knot here. So, this next knot that we're going to learn is the Palomar knot. And this one, I, I wouldn't say it's hard. Um, it just takes a little getting used to. Like, at first I was, I was struggling with it a little bit, but that's just the name of the game, really. So, what you'll do for this knot is you'll have your your line and then you'll take you'll take it and double it up like this so you have that that big open part or you'll have the double up line and then you'll thread that through and then you'll just do like a really really easy just loop like that couldn't see that let me do it again let's 
get a little closer. So you have it like this and you put it under and then you'll have it behind there and then you'll put it back through this. And then what you would do next is you would take your lure, hence measuring cup, we'll use that as reference or we'll use that as example, but you'll take that and you'll put that loop it doesn't have to be super big. This is just a measuring cup, so it has to be huge. And then once you have that, you'll have that big loop and you'll just pull this. And you want, when you do this, you want to uh, wet the line. So what I would usually do is just use my tongue and saliva to get that. Or you can just dip it in the water, whatever you want to do. Fingers on the thing whatever then you would pull this tight until there would be no loop and this all just comes in so i usually like to start to pull the two lines and then if one like ends up like a little bit looped which sometimes happens which which sometimes happens just pull one of them again it's uh just pull one of them until that not just closes all the way um I can show you right here I actually have a rod that has the Palomar knot on it hold on one second so once you have that knot cinched down and I'm usually using swivels if I can get this one off It will look like this and I'll get it close it's kind of hard to see but it'll be like a little ball kind of thing so once it comes down just like that you are ready to go and you're ready to go catch some fish fishing is my favorite um, hobby i i've put a lot of money into it and it is my passion to fish and i've caught some good fish this year 2022 so thank you guys for watching it means so much this channel is brand new and i'm just back to making videos uh, i am also drummer 9049 um which is a other channel that I have, but I want to make a fishing one to teach fishing just so more people can learn this great sport. So like and subscribe, it would mean a lot, and thanks for watching.